Hello again. I'm here today to talk to you on how to build multi-file slash class programs with TSGL. So in the previous uh, video, we saw how to build single file programs. Um, to get a refresher, a single file program just had a the make file, the make file, and tutorial.cpp. It just had one a single .cpp file and the make file. Just for clarification. So that's what it should that's what your setup should look like with a single file make program with a single file program. And then when you type make, you will get just a dot o and an executable. Okay? Now let's do a multi-file program. A multi-file program will have a .cpp file as well as other files such as class files, for example. That's what we're going to be doing in this video, but it could have other files as well. Um, <coughs> so, make a new directory in your desktop and call it Tutorial2. Okay? Now, let's cd into, our do CD into wherever we save the TSGL master folder. Go to the generic make file. Let's copy over the make file to our desktop tutorial 2 folder. Okay. Now let's cd into tutorial 2. There's the make file. Let's use get it. Uh, in Mac, you can use whatever te text editor you want, like I said, but in the previous video, um, remember how I said that there's a text editor? I think it's the default one, the text editor. I think that's what it's called. Uh, that will mess up the code as well as the make file. So use a different text editor, maybe VI or even Xcode if you have it um, on Mac. But for now, we're going to be using Get It. But you can also use VI and Linux too, whatever you feel more comfortable with. So Get It make file. Okay. So it's the generic make file from the TSGL library with everything included. Now, what's going to be different is that we're going to be editing this this line, this line and this line. As you can see in direct dependencies, multi-file classes only. We will see in a minute how we do that, but for now let's just close up get it. So let's make let's uh, make a new file called tutorial, not better yet, cotangent.h. Let's make a class file. Let's make a class, cotangent class. I'm going to call it cotangent.h. Alright, now one quick second here. Alright. Alright, now what we're going to do in the cotangent.h files, we're going to make a class. So before we make the class, though, we're going to say pound include tsgl.h using namespace tsgl. Now let's make the class declaration class cotangent public function. Let's make a public section. And the function class in TSGL has a abstract method called value at, which you must inherit, which you must inherit and provide a definition for if you are going to use it in a different class, in a subclass. So let's do that. Let's do virtual value oh, decimal value at decimal x, and it's a const method. All right, so that, that's pretty much our um, cotangent.h file. It's just the class definition that inherits from public function, which is a class located in the TSGL library. Let's close it up, and let's make a let's make the dot the accompanying .cpp file for the class. So pound include cotangent.h. And so it would be decimal cotangent colon colon value at decimal x. It's a const. Oop. All right. And the definition of cotangent is cosine of x over sine of x. So let's just return that. All right. 
So that's pretty much our .cpp file. It's just a declaration of value at, uh, sorry, definition of value at, and it just returns cosine of x over sine of x. All right. Now, it's ls, and let me just do this. Okay, so we have our class files, the cotangent.h and cotangent.cpp. Now let's make a driver, tutorial.cpp. So we're going to pound include cotangent.h, and we are going to add our code. Um, I'm taking this straight from the wiki. Uh, it's, in, it's under using functions. Um, it's just... Okay, I have to edit the fun I have to edit this line. All right, so let me break this down for you. Uh, in the in the wiki, it'll be explained more in depth uh, under the using functions page. But for now, um, allow me to explain it here. Cartesian canvas is a special kind of canvas that's used uh, to draw things in the Cartesian coordinate system. So when we think of the Cartesian coordinate system, we think of the origin as zero zero or wherever we want it. Whereas our standard canvas uh, has the origin, 0, 0, centered at the top left of the screen. Um, the Cartesian canvas is in the, also in the Cartesian coordinate system, so each point in it has an x and a y. Um, so, but it inherits from canvas, so it's start, uh, it started just like a regular canvas. It has the set background color, so we can see the axes better, since in the Cartesian canvas um, class, there's a method called draw axes that'll draw axes so that way you can see things better and you can plot things. Uh, and we already made the cotangent function, uh, cotangent class, sorry. Uh, and this is our drawing loop to draw things on the canvas. Uh, so we have our sleep call and then we're drawing our function. And then we're telling it once it's done, to, once it's done drawing, to wait. Wait to, until it's closed. Okay, so what we're going to do is now, this is, this is our code right here. It's in the uh, wiki page. It's using functions right here. In case you just want to copy and paste it. That way you don't have to type it out. You will have to edit this to say cotangent instead of cotangent function. But um, meantime, let's just close up get it. And let me remove the backup file. There we go. So. Here is what the layout should be for a multi-file slash class program. It should have uh, multiple files. It should have a .cpp file, a main .cpp file, so a driver program, dot the driver .cpp. Uh, it should have class files in case you have classes, so a .h and a .cpp, and whatever file other files you want. Now, how does this tie in with the make file? Well, let's find out. Okay. So edit this line right here, target. It's just like normal tutorial. It's the name of the the main. It's the name of the main .cpp file. So in this case, the main .cpp file was tutorial.cpp. We have a cotangent.cpp, but that's not our main, our actual uh, driver program. What our driver program is a tutorial.cpp. So that's what goes in the target line. We're building that. Okay. Now. We have the OBJ's line, that's the objects line. We have the tutorial.o. Uh, now we need cotangent.o. And what that means is, okay, I have a cotangent function, uh, cotangent class, it has a .cpp and a .h. The object dependent, uh, the target depends on the cotangent, as well as the uh, compiled tutorial excuse me, tutorial file. So uh, add that to the OBJs line. And let's go down to the indirect dependencies line. Target.o. Target.o will depend on cotangent.h. And what that means is every time I edit cotangent.h, I want you to rebuild the target. So in this case, tutorial.o. And let's also add a cotangent.o. And that also depends on cotangent.h. So every time we re every time we edit the cotangent.h file, tutorial.o and cotangent.o they will both be rebuilt after upon compilation and linking. Upon compilation, then linking will occur as well. Um, so 
um, let's say you had a, another class, a signed class, and you had the sign.h and the sign.cpp files already made. If you had the cotangent files and the sign files made, all you'd have to do is say sign.o. You'd have to say that in the OBJ's line. And you'd have to say that the target, the tutorial.o, will indirectly depend on sign.h. So whenever we edit that, it will be rebuilt. You will have to add a sign, sorry, sign.o file, dot o line. And that will depend on sign.h. So that every time you edit the cotangent and sign every time you edit either the cotangent or the sign files or both the dot h's the target will re be rebuilt but if you edit the sign file only this will be rebuilt the cotangent will not be rebuilt um, so yeah you would have to edit that and and vice and the process will continue if you have a cosine be cosine.o if you have tangent it'd be tangent.o and so on and so forth with the dot o's and all you would have to do oops, is just follow the same pattern where if you have a if you have a tangent dot o you'd say tangent dot h here and then you'd make another line tangent dot o or depends indirectly on tangent dot h and so on and so forth but since we only have cotangent dot o we're only going to be focusing on that, but just follow that same pattern. Just if you have a class file that has a .h uh, and a .cpp, uh, if you have class, if you have a class that has a .h and a .cpp, you're going to have to do it like that. If you have a class that is just a .h file, you do not have to add anything to the indirect dependencies. Um, all you'd have to do is add something here. You just have to add the .h. So if it's something like I don't know, image inverter image inverter.h and that's just a class file if there's no .cpp you would have to say image inverter.o I believe uh, if I am wrong on that you will not have to add anything to the obj's line but still you would also have to say the target.o depends on image inverter.h alright oh wait no you do not have to add anything to image inverter you do not have to add image inverter.o here as that will not have an object file my mistake, sorry. You will have to add image inverter.h here though, since every time you edit that single class file, the target will have to be rebuilt. So in the meantime, we got our class files made, we have our make file set up. So let me just again remove the uh, backups. So we have our main.cpp file. Uh, we have our .h and .cpp file class files, and we have our edited make file. We're ready to go. Type make. You can see that it's building the tutorial, the main tutorial program, as well as the cotangent, and it's just linking linking together. Ls, and you will see that there is a executable tutorial as well as the .os from before. Let's go ahead and edit that, and there we go. It's the cotangent function. Um, essentially, that is the layout. This is the final layout for a single file, I mean, I'm sorry, multi-file slash class program. Uh, you're going to have several .os, and you're going to have a dot, uh, class files as well as other files. And like I said, all you would have to do in the make file is just edit the target line to just say the main.cpp file, so tutorial.cpp. Yours would probably be driver.cpp or main.cpp. And then in the OBJ's line, every class that you have that has a .h and a .cpp file, you're going to have to say file name.o. If it's just a single .h, you will not have to add an OBJ's line. You will not have to add that, add a .o for that single class file, single .h file here. Um, and in the indirect dependencies line, you would just have to say, hey, you know, the target.o will depend on cotangent.h every time I edit it, or the .h file. And then if you have a single .h file, no .cpp, you will have to add it here for the target. Um, and that's it. Uh, if you have a .cpp and a .h, you'll have to add the cotangent.o and then the cotangent.h. So that's pretty much it for a single file, I mean a multi-file program. And yeah, that concludes this tutorial.